Would you squeeze some orange juice, please? Squeeze some orange juice. <laughs> Thanks. You'll always be my main squeeze, but use the regular juicer, all right? Mom, what's Dad doing in the garage? He wouldn't let me in to get my bike. Yeah, I know. I had to get something out of the car, and he wouldn't let me in either. Hey, everybody, your attention, please. I have something to show you. Oh, what is it, honey? Well, what is it, honey? <laughs> I'd like you to meet the new and improved Vanessa. Oh, no. Say hello, Vanessa. Hello, family. It's so good to see you again. Dad, not her again. Yep, and she's better than ever. Robotically, she's a big improvement over Vicky. She can uh, make her own decisions, form her own opinions. She's practically human. Dad, don't you remember what happened the last time that you brought her home? I, she tied us up and tried to burn the house down. Oh, that. Kids. <laughs> Mommy, I'm sorry for what happened last time. I can assure you it will never happen again. You see, honey, I fixed that uh, character flaw in her personality mode. <laughs> and, Mom, you're even prettier than I remember you. Oh. Oh, I thank you. And, Jamie... You've turned into quite a hunk since I saw you last. Well, I've been lifting weights. <laughs> the only weights he lifts are a knife and a fork. <laughs> Vicky, I just love that pinafore. It's so... you. See what I mean, honey? Ever since I fixed her, she's just like a sweet, lovable human kid. She does seem delightful, but I still don't know how I feel about having her around the house. Joni, nothing can happen. I can switch her off at any time. She's got an emergency off switch on the top of her head, just like Vicky. Here, I'll show you. Uh, Vanessa, could you come here, please? Certainly, Daddy. Uh, Vanessa, what do you think about uh, rock and roll music? Rock and roll? Well, it really... <laughs> See what I mean? Huh? Really turns me on. I love rock and roll. <laughs> Vicky, would you grab that, please? Hello. Well, Mr. Jennings, how are you? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You mean tonight? Well, uh, sure, no problem. Yeah, oh, no, you can count on me, sir. And, uh, yeah, and thank you for the opportunity. Bye. Well, don't just stand there. Start packing. Packing? For what? We're going to Hollywood. Hollywood? <laughs> Wow! Why? Well, since they're making a TV movie about a robot, and it broke down. So they called United Robotronics to send out an expert to fix it, and the boss picked me. <laughs> oh, honey, that's really exciting. Yeah. Boy, we get to see all the movie stars. What's a movie star? A movie star is someone who works a few hours a week saying words that someone else thought up and then gets paid a fortune. Then they're on... Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. <laughs> a movie star sounds like a good thing to be. I'll go to Hollywood and become a star. You're not going anywhere until I'm finished testing you. But I want to become a star. I want to be on Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. <laughs> Sorry, Vanessa, no way. I said I'm going. Any questions, Daddy? Daddy? You remember that little character flaw you fixed in Vanessa? Mm -hmm. It's back. <laughs> I'm going to Hollywood and nobody can stop me. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I 
I wouldn't do that if I were you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, the, uh, the truth of the matter is, Vanessa, you, uh, you don't have what it takes to be a big star, right, guys? Yeah. yeah. Yes, I do. I'm smart, I'm talented, and I'll step on anybody who gets in my way. Well, she got me there. But, uh, in order to be a big star, you have to be in, uh, top physical condition, right, guys? Mm -hmm. I'm in better shape than Arnold Schwarzenegger. And stronger, too. <laughs> oh, really? I bet you can't uh, bend over and touch your toes without bending your knees. Of course I can. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Dad. Ted, I have had it with Vanessa. She's, she's got a bad seat in her circuit. I want you to dismantle her forever. Joni, look, we got a plane to catch. I'll put her in Vicky's cabinet until we get back, huh? Come on, let's start packing. Let's go, Vicky. Hollywood, here we come. Come on. <laughs> There. You'll be nice and cozy till we get back, Vanessa. Oh, Jamie, pack it nice and neat, okay? Okay, Dad. <laughs> Hi. Not now, Harriet. I'm busy packing. Packing? Where are you going? Hollywood. Dad's got to do some work out there, and he's taking us with him. Jamie, you can't go to Hollywood. Beautiful gold diggers will throw themselves at you and take you for every cent you've got. That's my job. <laughs> what are you doing, Harriet? I'm going to stay with you until you leave. In that case, I'm leaving. <laughs> you just don't appreciate me. Hey, maybe if I hang up all his clothes, he will. No way will I do this after we're married. <laughs> Guess everything goes into this cabinet. Vicky, what are you doing in there? Vicky, Vicky, <laughs> are you all right, Vicky? I'm not Vicky. I'm Vanessa. Vanessa. Oh, I get it. When you go to Hollywood, the first thing you do is change your name. When I become a big movie star, I'm gonna call myself... Tallulah. <laughs> I love you, Red. What will happen to me if you go? Frankly, Tallulah, I don't give a darn. <laughs> I'll tell Jamie I'll see him later. See ya. Here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> Humans are really weird. Maybe they taste good. <laughs> you're supposed to be in the cabinet, Vanessa. Well, I'm not. And do what you're told. We're going to switch clothes and have some fun. Switch clothes? Is that fun? More than you know, you stupid, antiquated robot. This is perfect, Vicky. Those inferior humans will think that I'm you and you're me. Are we having fun yet, Vanessa? <laughs> Not yet. First step into the cabinet. Are we having fun yet? Not yet. I have one more thing left. Now we're having fun. Look out, Hollywood. Here comes Vanessa. What do you think, Mr. Lawson? Uh, well, uh, Danny, you can tell your producer that this robot is in almost useless condition. Tell H.L. the bad news, not me. You tell him. Better he should fire you. I'll be up in a minute. Hi, 
Hi, H.L., hi. Hi, 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 hi. Listen, this is uh, Mr. Lawson, the robot guy. Glad to meet you, kid. Hi, uh, uh, H.L., this is my uh, family here. Hi, hi. hi. Good to see you. Well, Lawson, uh, how much is it going to cost me to fix the robot? Well, H.L., uh, that depends on how much you want it to do. Do everything. It's the star of my movie. Oh, it's going to be great. See, it's about this man scientist and this robot monster that... Never mind. I'll tell it. It's going to be great. It's about this mad scientist who builds this robot monster that terrorizes everyone in the village until finally the town people burn the castle down with their torches. Hmm? Oh, I get it. Sort of a cross between Robocop and Frankenstein. First rule of Hollywood, kid, steal from the very best. So what's this epic going to be called? Oh, I dreamed up a very original title. Robostein? You and your stupid titles. <laughs> yeah, uh, H.L., I, I can fix your robot. Uh, should only cost you about uh, six or seven thousand dollars. Thousand? That's an arm and a leg. What can you give me for six or seven hundred? Just a leg. <laughs> uh, Lawson, give me a couple of minutes to think about this. Six or seven. Listen, how? <laughs> hey, uh, H.L., I got a great idea. We forget about the robot. Hire an actor dressed up like a robot. What are you, an idiot? Here's what we'll do. We'll forget about the robot, hire an actor dressed up like a robot. <laughs> Great idea, H.L. That's why I get the big bucks. Mr. H.L., when's this gonna be on TV? Oh, it's gonna be on... <laughs> um, H.L. Mm-hmm. So, you, uh, like monster movies, huh, kid? Oh, yeah, they're my favorite. Mm. Oh, yeah, Vicky, too. I, I guess all kids love them. Oh, sure. Hey, H.L., that's it. We aim the movie to kid audience and get a kid to play the robot. What, are you an idiot? Here's what we'll do. We'll get a kid to play the robot and name the movie at a kid audience. Great idea, H.O. <laughs> now, where am I going to find the kid? I'll make her a star. I want to be a star. H.O., listen to that. She sounds just like a robot. She could be the kid. <laughs> I'll decide who the kid is. And the star of my new movie is that girl. <laughs> Wonder will return after these messages. Tonight, Dude. Homer joins the... Well, so, Mom and Dad, I want your daughter to be a kid monster in my movie. Well, see, that's uh, very flattering, H.L., but uh, sorry, no way. Oh, we don't want her to work. I mean, she's only a child. Well, so was Shirley Temple. So was Elizabeth Taylor. So was Minnie Mouse. <laughs> right. I'm afraid not, H.L. Oh, Lawson, look, I'll, I'll, I'll build a whole thing around her. I'll call it Robo Kid. She'll be a movie star. I'll work a few hours a week saying words that someone else thought up and then make a fortune. Then I'll be on Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. Well, it doesn't work for me. Sorry, H.L. The answer is an unequivocal no. Excuse me. What's unequivocal? <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Idiot, right? <laughs> Lawson, if you need me, I'll be over on stage eight. Let's go, idiot. Well, if they're not gonna use the robot, I guess my work's done. Uh, can we look around a little before we go? Well, sure, as long as we're here. This might be my last chance to see a real Hollywood studio. Until I'm old, like you and Dad. Let's go, Grandma! <laughs> Man, this dungeon is fresh. It looks so real. Yeah, too real. Gives me the creeps. Come along, Igor. We must give the prisoner his daily meal and torture. Walk this way. <laughs> Certainly, Master. <laughs> Oh, hello. Look. A chain smoker. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, Vicky? Oh, she's just getting caught up in the act. What's the sweetheart? Put the key back in the door and let us out, okay? Fat chance, turkeys. I'm going to be a star, and you can't stop me. What? I said I'm going to be a star. Dad, that's not Vicky. That's Vanessa. Vicky's home in her cabinet where she belongs. I fool you, humans. Vanessa, listen, I order you to open this door right now. With you out of the way, I'm going straight to the top. 
But we're trapped in here. Yeah. We're gonna end up like that guy on the wall. <laughs> Listen, would you two just take it easy? It's a big studio. Lots of people walk by and they'll see us. So just don't panic, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, terrific. Ter this set is gonna look great when it's finished. Only, uh, give me more bubbles. More bubbles? Right, and, and, and more bubbles. Big spider webs. More big spider webs? What are you, an echo? Uh, what are you, an echo? And, and, and brains. Well, we need more brains? No, you need more brains. <laughs> right, all well, right. Mr. H.L., I'm ready to be a movie star. My parents changed their minds. Oh, oh, kid, that's great. Look, look, here, here, here's the script. Now, you study this for a couple of hours, and then we'll give you a screen test, okay? Ready when you are, H.L. No, 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 kid. So you're supposed to read it so you'll know the part. I already read it. I know all the parts. All the parts? How? I've got a charge coupled photoreceptors and a molecular matrix bubble memory parallel processing system. <laughs> oh, oh, that explains it. Right, right. Okay, look, let's try this from the top. Uh, Danny, you get over there. You're the mad scientist. Uh, kid, right up here on the slab, all right? Here we go. Quiet on the set. Quiet. And action. It's alive! It's, al it's alive! I love you, Rick. Well, we'll have the night when you go. Cut! 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 Hey, hey, hey kid, look, don't, don't pad your part. Just say what's in the script. Now, now, remember, you're Robostein. You're a, you're a kid robot. Well, that won't be hard to remember. Okay, great. From the top. Here we go. Quiet! And... Action! She's alive. She's... she's alive. Yes, I'm going to be, but you're not. But help, 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 mother! <laughs> oh, kid, kid, kid! That was terrific. Kid, you're fabulous. Kid, you're strong. <laughs> Have the party, Chell? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. As soon as, uh, as soon as you get your parents to sign this contract. My parents have to sign this before I can become a star? Oh, yes, that's right. A minor needs their parents' permission. Now, now that's not going to be a problem, is it? No problem at all. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, we start work tomorrow, and what a scene! Yeah, you're going to love it. See, he's peasants. Now, come in here. <laughs> I'll tell it. You see, you trap these peasants in a dungeon, and you pull this red lever, and the walls close in, crushing everybody inside. Huh? Sounds like fun. See you tomorrow, H.L. Baby. H.L. Baby. I like that. Maybe not. <laughs> Ted, where are all these people that were going to come and get us out of here? Well, it's uh, Hollywood, honey. Uh, maybe they're all uh, doing lunch. I'll accept him. <laughs> Hello, family. Vanessa, all right, you've had your fun. Now open this door. Daddy, you're not giving the orders here. I am. And I order you and Mommy to sign this contract so I can become a star. Well, what if we don't? If you don't, you won't get out of this dungeon alive. Listen, you can't scare us, you're walking erector set. Yeah, you can't scare him. <laughs> oh, can't I? <laughs> Listen, don't panic, anybody. Don't panic. I'll just put this table right here in between. Good idea. See? There. That'll stop him. Where do we sign? That's better. Sign it the X. Okay. There. Okay, there. It's signed. That's better. See you. Good morning, Vanessa. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, right. What is going on here? What is, what is all this yelling? What are you doing? Just having a few laughs. Oh. Oh, my set! My set! It's styrofoam. How much could it cost to fix? Why, well, there's no money in the budget for styrofoam. Well, blame it on Vanessa. What? Wh who's responsible for, for hiring this set wrecker? You are, H.L. Who asked you? Wait, I got it. 
<laughs> and you, I'm gonna sue you for every cent your father's got, and you're fired! You can't fire me. I'm a star. I'm going to have my name in lights. Oh, yeah? Well, lights out, baby. Yeah, well... <laughs> He switched her off. Can't we go home? I've seen enough of Hollywood. Yeah, me too. Yeah, same goes for me. Well, Vanessa, as they say, fame is a fleeting thing. <laughs> And now, a fun report from Six Flags. She's a small wonder, pretty and bright with soft curls. She's a small wonder, a girl unlike other girls. She's a miracle, and I grant you, she'll enchant you at her sight. She's a small wonder. She'll make 